what's up so um now I got my app alpine wired up and ready to go <coughs> um basically have these two amps you know so I can test my uh my cell buffers and um this one bridges down to four amps and uh, this one bridges down to uh, two ohms. So that one has two 30 amp fuses. This one has two 20s. So basically, it makes you know. Well, I guess this one's a digital amp, so it's a little bit different. But I want to say easy 400, uh, 600 RMS. Now, those ratings do, they are at 14 uh, volts, I believe. Um, I'll have to check out the, uh, uh, what is it called, on their website. But um, it'll be, you know, different ratings than, obviously, since I'm using this power supply. Um, now, that supply is plenty for this amp, but it's not enough for that one. That one takes a little more juice than this one, but this one is also a digital, so that's why. I believe that's a class D amp, and they need more power. But um, anyway, just a short introduction of why I got two amps. Only one is uh, working at a time. So, um, what is it called? whatever amp I'm gonna use or according according to the uh, the sub that I'm gonna test I'll you know plug this one for two ohms or that one for four now I got this kicker I mean kicker sorry I just did a I just did another kicker thing earlier but um so this is a uh, Alpine Type R and um what was wrong with this one was that the the glue they use for them. Um, I'm not sure if it was a bad years or badges or what the fuck was wrong with it, but um, there was something really bad with the glue. Um, and what is it called? Basically, the whole surround will come apart and uh this one hadn't for years i've had this for uh what um four or five years then i lend it well i gave it to my brother and uh, yeah so made itself back to me then i found out that the basket uh was broken but i went ahead and uh used the glue the um, from the previous uh, video and yeah glued everything back up now I don't have the other glue on me right now but for this around I use this one and uh, this is pretty good uh, glue I, um, I've used it for a while it's never let me down so yep so anyway, um, let's go ahead and see what this baby does. And again, this is just from... Uh, same power supply. Okay. I really like that little... It's like a... Iron Man little light. So yeah, everything. Again, these Type R's, they're they're built really good. I really like the Type R's, but I I hated the glue issue, especially for the price. Not good.
noise you're hearing is from the old man thing. I was never ever never able to burn a type R. So whatever issues they have with the glue and stuff, this is still to me one of the uh, best pickers type R. I mean uh, Alpine made just with the surround and. Uh, it's all the technology they had on it. It's, it's good. Really good SQ sub. Really punchy. Bassy. Like, they did good. Good job to Alpine. I don't know what the fuck happened with the glue, but I mean, that's, that's not necessarily, you know, an Alpine's fault. Like, a, could have been a bad batch that the production line got, like, could have just been a bad employee. I mean, who knows? But definitely, Type R, great sub, great, great sub. So, yeah. Uh,